Welcome to another how-to video from Reports Your Way. One great feature of Jet Reports is the ability to dynamically generate worksheets in a workbook. An example would be creating a financial report where a new worksheet is created for each department and the worksheet is populated with the results just for that department. This replicating feature is called NL Sheets. But sometimes you want something different for the sheet tab name than what JET needs to generate the sheets. For example, suppose we want to create a workbook with sheet tabs by year. We might be creating financial statements, sales, or purchasing history, etc. In setting up report filters for the end user, our goal is to have the end user input as little information as possible to reduce the possibility of errors. Whenever practical, we want JET and Excel to do the rest. For date-sensitive reports, we may want the end user to enter in the report end date or perhaps a date range. With keeping it simple in mind, we can get Excel and JET to figure out how to create those sheet tabs by year. In this example, the functions we'll be using are JET's NL Sheets and NP Integers functions and Excel's year, date, and EO month functions. Let's get started. In my first worksheet, I've entered the words start date in cell B5, and beside it in cell C5, I've entered the fiscal starting date value for the report. Below this, I've entered the fiscal ending date value for the report. The values are the date filters for the report that the end user would input. For our example, I'm using a five year range. In cells E5, and E6, I'm using Excel's year function to extract the year from both the fiscal start and end date, resulting in just the years 2016 and 2020. Now I need JET to generate the worksheets with the years for the sheet names. In cell C8, I have the JET NP integers function, referencing the start and end year, embedded as the table parameter in an NL sheets function. NP integers simply increments a number by one. You just have to give it a starting number and an ending number. It has a number of useful applications and is typically used with one of JET's dynamic replicator functions, NL rows, NL columns, or NL sheets. By embedding the NP integers function inside the NL sheets, it will be the sheet name when JET runs. But we are not quite finished. This is a date-sensitive report, and we will need to add the appropriate date range for each sheet. It's different for each year. In cell G5, we need the start date to be the first day of the worksheet's year. We can use Excel's date function and the result in C8, which is the name of the worksheet. This function has three parameters. We must identify the year, month, and day in that order. For the year, we just have to point to C8. If your fiscal year always starts on January 1st, then your formula in G5 would look like this. The result will always be January 1st for your starting year. In cell G6, we can use Excel's end of month function to calculate the last day of the fiscal year. It looks like this. The function is referencing the start of the fiscal year and then simply adding 11 months to get the last date of the year. This Excel function is really handy for date sensitive reports because you can do a lot with it. Once we run the report, we see that one sheet is created for each year in our specified range. Now, if your fiscal year starts in a different month, then two of our cells need to be modified. Let's start with the NL Sheets function in cell C8. Since your fiscal year is not based on the calendar year, the end of your fiscal year will be in the next calendar year, so we need to advance the start year in the NP Integers function by 1. We do this by simply adding plus 1 to the cell reference for the start date. Because the start date for the date range for the report relies on this value, we also need to adjust the date function in cell G5 
and subtract 1 from the year reference. When we run the report, we see that our sheet names are now based on our fiscal year rather than the calendar year. In a more sophisticated version of this report, we could have the end user just enter a date and the number of years to report on, and let Excel do the rest of the date calculations. There's a number of ways you can work with Excel and JET to get the results you need. We hope you've enjoyed this video from Reports Your Way, and we look forward to seeing you in other videos from us. Thanks for watching.